I'm bringing you guys something that you literally have asked more than anything on my entire channel lately. It's how do I make these smashed potatoes? This is not an exaggeration. 600 messages on how do I make the smashed potatoes. This should be a staple in your kitchen for your family. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. All that you're gonna need is a bag of like baby potatoes. So you can either use just the yellow kind, like I have right here, and like I used in the one that I made on my Instagram, or you can use the yellow and red mixed or the yellow and purple mixed. It's totally your preference. One huge like elephant garlic like this, or two regular like garlic heads like this. You're gonna need some olive oil, salt, and pepper. So I like to use just this um, Himalayan sea salt and I just use this pepper from William Sonoma. Olive oil. Your wish is my command. So you are first going to bring some water to boil on the stove. Um, it's just enough to fit your potatoes. You know how to boil potatoes and just make sure they're completely covered. While I put that on to boil, I'm going to preheat my oven to 4 50. Most people will use about two pounds of potatoes if you guys want exact numbers. This is a pound and a half, it's enough because I'm gonna eat it and Kyle is gonna eat some, but I don't eat any more than that. So just depending on like what size portion you want or how many people you feed in. I'm gonna boil them for about 10-ish minutes. You can go all the way up to 15. Um, just make sure that they're like soft to where you can smash them. I don't cook from recipes like hardly ever but I do get inspiration from recipe books. I almost follow my friend Laura Lee's recipe exactly for these. This is her cookbook, and this is how she does the mashed potatoes. This is one of my very favorite cookbooks. Um, you can find it on Amazon, I'll link it below. She's my friend, and um, she's here in Nashville. She does a lot of Southern favorites in a healthy way, which I really love. I love this, my mom loves this, all my aunts love this, my sister loves this. Literally the healthiest of the healthy and the most unhealthy of the unhealthy love this cookbook. It has really simple recipes if you are a recipe follower or if you're one looking for inspiration. She doesn't use 150 ingredients, she uses like six or less. And I just love this cookbook, so I'll link this one too. And then another one that I really love, her name is Mikkel, and she's a nutritionist super healthy, a lot of plant-based recipes. If you're a person that's trying to revamp and like take a lot of meat out of your diet in the new year, this nutrition stripped one is awesome. The images are beautiful. And she has a lot of good like um, bowls and smoothies and different stuff like that. So I love this cookbook as well. So those are my three favorites. Whoops, you're only gonna need about this much butter, but I have the stick of butter out. Um, salted butter would probably be better. And then you're gonna need olive oil, salt, and pepper. I love this Himalayan sea salt and this ground black pepper from William Sonoma. And then you'll need this to brush everything on at the end. Yeah. So for when the potatoes are done boiling and I've drained them, I'm just gonna grab a little mixing bowl. And then I'm also gonna grab a ramekin out of my cabinets because this is what I'm gonna melt the butter in and smash the garlic into to make that kind of sauce that goes on top of the smashed potatoes. And let's get smashing. So the water has now come to a boil. So I'm now gonna throw in my potatoes. The potatoes will now boil for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 of the most, and then I'll take them out and drain them and then we'll smash them. I get so many questions about these masks that I cook on. So this one is actually a generic one, I think off of Amazon, but I get mine usually from William Sonoma. They're Silpat pads, is what they're called. Um, the French use them a lot in their cooking. And William Sonoma, they're gonna be like, oh, those are for cookies. They're not just for cookies, they're for everything. It's what I cook literally every vegetable, every meat, every fish on, and they are a lifesaver because you don't hardly have to clean a pan. And I love them, I'll link some below, but I highly recommend these for the kitchen. Take one of them out of the pan and just put it on your countertop or whatever and see if you can either puncture it with like a fork or a knife or just go ahead and do that smash. Ooh, foggy. You are gonna put the olive oil, salt, and pepper on there before you smash them, it's just easier. Sometimes I smash them before I put the olive oil, salt, and pepper, but I find that this is easier. Just a few tablespoons. Make sure these are good and covered. I'm just gonna do a pinch of each. The smashing part, I'm gonna lay all the potatoes out onto the board. It's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take the end of some kind of hard surface, so you can either do a knife, you can do a wooden spoon, that's my favorite. You're gonna put it onto the potato and smash it. Smash it. So you can do them like really smashed like I just did that one or you can do them a little bit less smashed. You don't want to do them to where they're like 
flat as a pancake, but like this, and you're just gonna roughly do that to all of them. Here is what they look like, smashed on there. You can pour a little bit of that olive oil, salt, and pepper mixture that's left at the bottom of the bowl onto them. I'm gonna take this large garlic clove, and I am just simply going to saw about the last quarter off to where you're revealing those pieces of garlic. Make sure that they're revealed though because they've got to cook up. Okay, there we go. Yes. See how that garlic is kind of revealed like that? Then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna dump the remainder of this onto the garlic. Nice and oiled up. I'm just gonna set that on the baking dish. That's gonna bake in the oven with all the potatoes. And then at the end, you're gonna squeeze all that delicious like mashed garlic out and you're gonna make that butter glaze that makes these such a hero piece in the kitchen. Into the oven for anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. It depends on how crunchy you want your potatoes. I would say 20 minutes, even 18 minutes is kind of the minimum. Um, I actually typically put them on the middle and let them cook. Let them cool while I am preparing the mixture to put on top. So see how this beautiful garlic clove is now open and roasted. I'm gonna cut off about this much butter, throw it in this ramekin, heat it for a minute, and then put a pinch of salt in there. Now that you've got your butter melted and your garlic roasted, you can either put it in the refrigerator and for like 10 minutes to where you can squeeze it out with your hands. You can take a dish towel and put it around the garlic clove and squeeze it. Or you can just kind of individually take the cloves out like this. If you cook them right, they should come out just like so. See? Just drip it right out like that. Delicious. So I'm going to get all of that good gooey garlic out of the garlic clove. And I then proceed to mash it and make the most delectable mixture that you have ever known in your life. So as long as you get most of it out, and then it's gonna look like this, you're just gonna mash it. Just mash that garlic in there like that, and you're gonna make this beautiful paste that you're then gonna put on top of the smashed potatoes, and that's what makes this a special dish. Like. They taste incredible right now, but this is what makes them such a hero piece. Mmm, yes. Take a little pastry painter, and then you can literally paint that mixture onto the potatoes. And then at the very end, I'm gonna take the actual pieces of garlic, and I'm gonna put those on top of the potatoes too. For kids, for adults, literally anyone in your life is gonna love this. Kyle was like, where have you been keeping this from me? Why have you been keeping this from me? <laughs> Maybe he would have proposed a whole lot sooner if I would have revealed this recipe beforehand. Maybe not. <laughs> we wanted to get on here and give you guys a little pregnancy update. We're having twins. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> so first things first, I'm, you can really tell I'm pregnant and I've gotten really big. I have my um, glucose test or the diabetes test or whatever, my next appointment. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I think I'll be fine. I felt great. I haven't been sick a day still. And it's so funny because people say that you um, get sick when you're pregnant really easy. This is like the first winter I haven't been sick. Isn't that ironic? And for another update, we still have our Christmas tree up. We're getting ready for Veil. Look straight like out the trailer. <laughs> so I've been wanting like salty food still. A lot of you guys make, it makes you think that it's a boy. Um, I've been craving, instead of Mexican, I feel like I've been craving like sushi and ramen. Salty things. <laughs> so weird. So you guys know those rocker tees that I've been wearing every single day. I just ordered like 10 more of them. It's like, they're the best pregnancy thing ever. Today, I'm 26 weeks. From, from what I understand, babies grow different in the beginning, but it's measuring a little bit large. <laughs> what, what fruit is it? A papaya? Uh, to, I don't know what fruit it is today. Last week, it was a rutabaga. What the heck is a rutabaga? Fucking 
I don't know. Here's the point where I need your help. So I've been messaging every single friend of mine that has a baby, and I'm like, all of these things, what are the best things? What do I need to get? What do I not need to get? I don't want everything in the world, so, yeah. My arms look big in this. Hmm. <laughs> My husband's been a real help to Oh, oh, oh <laughs> don't even. <laughs>